Ah, yes, the heart of summer and so many things to enjoy. Grilling out, going to the pool, and definitely ice cream to keep you cool on a hot day. That's what I'm talking about. But summer also brings thunderstorms, and they can ruin your outdoor plans and wreak havoc. Whoa! Oh, man! What just happened there? That was crazy. But let's back things up just a little bit here and try to figure it all out, okay? Well, did you know that lightning travels at over 250,000 miles per hour and can contain up to 1 billion volts of electricity. Now, lightning can heat up to over 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's five times hotter than the surface of the sun, and this is what causes the pole to explode. All of the moisture inside the pole instantaneously vaporizes and expands. The force is powerful enough to obliterate the wood. Now, when this happens up in the sky, the air is heated and it expands violently, producing a shock wave that we all hear as, that's right, thunder. And since light travels faster than sound, we see the lightning flash right away, but we don't always hear the thunder. But you can tell how far away lightning is by counting the time between seeing the flash and hearing the thunder. For every five seconds, the lightning is one mile away. The sooner thunder is heard after the flash, the closer the strike is and the greater danger you're in. So it's always good to remember, as soon as you hear thunder roar, you should be headed indoors. That strike, about 2.4 miles away. But lightning can travel far away from a thunderstorm, and in some cases more than 30 miles, and it doesn't even have to be raining where it strikes. And lightning strikes the U.S. a lot, about 25 million times a year. July is the deadliest month for lightning strikes, and Saturday is the deadliest day. People are outdoors more on weekends and in the summer. And even if you're at the beach or in an open field away from a tall object, there is still a real danger, and you don't even have to be hit directly by the main bolt. Oftentimes, lightning has several streamers that branch out and hit objects on the ground, and those objects can transfer the electricity, well, just like these streamers here. And while metal objects don't necessarily attract lightning, they're really good conductors, and this fence is a great example. Electricity is transferred to anything in contact with it, and this is known as conduction. This is also a threat if your house is struck. And while you're much safer inside your house during a thunderstorm than outside, there are a few precautions you should take. Don't touch electrical equipment like computers, TVs, or anything that's plugged into an outlet. And you'll also want to avoid plumbing. So hold off on that shower. A good rule of thumb is to wait half an hour after the storm passes before going back outside. These tips will help keep you safe when you know a thunderstorm is headed your way. And for those times when lightning strikes without warning.